Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you. Welcome to our stage. Happy to see you all here at Siemens booth. Mr. Bezos said that digital transformation is a challenge that stands in front of the enterprises and it is either taken or the enterprise fails. As a living proof of that quote, Mr. Bezos transformed an e-commerce industry and became the richest person on the earth with net worth of almost 200 billion US dollars. So he could not be wrong, right? However, we all are aware of the challenges the businesses face when undergoing the path of the digitalization. Let us have a look at some of these that are connected with the digital industrial networks, since these are considered as the digital backbone for the digital transformation. If we first talk about the digitalization, we have to mention the topic that there is an effort to connect the so far inaccessible assets that is always connected with the potential of the cyber attack. That's why it is important that any connected device that is once exposed to the outer world must be well protected. Any, protect, any connected device still must be available in a 24-7 grade. And also, any connected device and asset that has the valuable data must be enabled to send them for processing where it is the best. An industrial network as this backbone must enable that. By all of that, IT and OT worlds blend in while maintaining their individual priorities, confidentiality for IT and high availability for OT. That's why it is no surprise that two-thirds of the industrial customers of ours keep this flexibility in asset, process and system deployment as their main strategic target. Since there is a shift from effectivity towards flexibility and resilience as the main transformation imperative. So I have the first question for you. Do you think that your current industrial networks support this level of flexibility? If you think not, Siemens has the solutions for you. I already mentioned the necessity to connect the so far inaccessible assets. That also generates another effect, and this effect is called bigger data volumes. There are solutions how to handle that topic, and one of the topics is the virtualization. Virtualization is a big topic for our customers. By virtualizing, we understand the possibility to run the computing system independently from an actual hardware. You can also put several computing systems together and run them in one central server. Virtualization is well established in the IT world. But what about virtualizing an industrial control system and virtual PLC in specific? Well, let me list a couple of benefits that are connecting, connected with that if you do the virtualization of your industrial systems with Siemens. There is a cost topic in the center of all of that. You not only save by buying less hardware, less equipment, but also you can reduce the cost which is stuck in the operating costs. In addition to that, you also save by running a central system, central instance of the computing system, compared to several distributed ones. And I should not forget about mentioning the possibility to the central management for updates, maintenance, anything what you need to do. We also have to talk about the easy data access, because very close to your virtual PLC in the system, you can also run additional applications including the third-party ones. By flexibility in hardware solution, we understand the possibility to decide where and how close to the operated system you put your 
control system. And in this you should decide, and I believe you might think about it already, by application, by latency requirements, all of that has to be considered. We already said that the IT and OT principles really blend in. And it is also important for the virtualization system that you use those IT principles that are valuable for OT. But you also might open the whole system to new business model, to the new way how you operate your system. Last but not least, in Siemens world, we also have to mention the compatibility with the TIA ecosystem, because there is nothing easier than to manage, install, operate your virtual PLC with the use of the same tools as you do it for your hardware instance. All of that accompanied by the proper network concept that has to work together. So I have another question for you. Do you think that your current network setup supports the future state of the art? Again, if your answer is no, we have the helping hand. The last topic that I have to mention in connection with the challenges are the changes in the labor market. You all are probably already aware of the generation shift the way how current young generation approaches the jobs. But we also were mentioning the digital transformation which changes the inside of the jobs. The manufacturing jobs as they were lived before are not lived currently. And three quarters of the industrial com customers, companies already now see those changes. So it will be a treasure in the future to have the skilled engineers including the networking ones. So if that is also your topic and you think that your network concept is not prepared, we should be here to help. I trust you believe, you agree with me, that connecting IT and OT is not just a, a question of preparing a sing simple single cable. Every success of the digitalization really lies in preparing the proper concept and pre pre proper digital backbone for that. Because without communication highway, you just can leave your cars in the garage. Imagine the following scenario. Let me guide you through that. Imagine you are the head of the operations in the very successful company you are asked to deliver even faster. Your markets require that your customers want, want them their products earlier. So you just think about how to do it. And we already mentioned that you'd probably try to find some performance gaps or you just try to find some inefficiencies by getting more data. So your network is growing. You just connect more assets. In addition to that, you have two teams. You have the conventional IT guys and you have the OT guys who try to keep things up and running. These are different worlds sometimes. We all know that. They have different tasks, different priorities, different responsibilities. However, one of the team tries to de really deliver. So they start with something. They prepare, they take the data from the machines, they just try to have a look at that, but they store the data somewhere. They create a workaround, a silo. It could be a silo, it doesn't need to be always, but could be. And if that happens, you just don't get the data to that instance where you can process them better. And you still have lack of the transparency. By that, you just don't do data-driven decisions. You just guess, you just try, you try to reorganize. However, you might be coming to the situation that you lose your so far excellent market position. How can we win this race towards the digitalization? First of all, for us, as the providers of the industrial networks, there are industrial networks with the scale and portfolio. We have the connectivity portfolio, which consists 
of the industrial grade switches and routers accompanied by intuitive software. We also create ITOT integration concepts. We call them blueprints. And this is something what is tested and verified. Tested and verified. And I will explain more. In the center of all of that, there is domain know-how and expertise. Because our people, when they when they talk with the customer, they just learn what to do, what works, what doesn't work, what should they write in, what should they then recommend to our customers. And since I said tested and verified, I have to show you a couple of our network blueprints. Please don't study them. We have the dialogue station for that. So don't get deeper into the topic because I will fly quickly over some of the examples. Let me start with the typical network concept for the discrete industries. This is the typical automation pyramid. We work with a cell aggregation backbone. We also look into the hybrid industries, like, for example, food and beverage or batteries. But this is not enough. We also work on very specific concepts, for example, for building automation. Or even more, our special customers from various verticals also have their recommendations in the form of the design for intralogistics. For example, these are just a few of them and just the examples. But this is not enough. I already mentioned that there are technological changes happening for our customers. And we are here with our scale and portfolio to support our customers. I already mentioned the virtualization and with the coming introduction of S7 1500V, we are also coming with the network concept to support those scenarios. So in the first scenario behind me, you see the S7 1500V put to the edge device on cell level. This is important for those industries who really require low latencies, and also independency from the central servers. In the enhanced portfolio, you could see that we have put the device into the aggregation layer. It means that we can consolidate the communication from several cells while still supporting deterministic communication, industrial protocols, and we also bring redundancy mechanisms to support the seamless communication here. So to sum up, to bring data where the processing is, is the best, to reduce your time to market, to make use of the new technologies, and to overcome the missing experts. Just start with IT-OT integration for industrial networks with Siemens.